Hi guys, welcome back to Scotty's Backyard Barbecue. Today we're going to go outside the box and, and cook us a raw steak. What you want to do is get a clean towel or paper towel. Dry the outside out off as best you can. We're going to hit it with some pepper. No salt yet, folks. That will come in later. You ever cooked a raw steak, folks? Of course you have, but never, maybe not like this. Here we got the Pit Boss Magnetic Grill. I call it the Magnetic Grill because whatever you put on it, the Pit Boss don't like to turn loose of it. But we're going to try this steak on here anyway. This is shut off. We got all the burners off. We're going to put this steak on cold. Oh, no sear, folks. Now we're going to start it on high. I know you're not supposed to cook on high with this thing, but we are. All three burners are on high. We're gonna start with a cold, cold griddle. We're going to go two minutes. I don't know if you can see that with the sun, but Scotty's got that at two minutes. All right, folks. We'll go real time here, folks. We got us some tongs. Now if this magnetic grill will let go of this steak, we'll flip it at the two minute mark, folks. I have my phone over here where I can see it. I guess what the idea here, folks, what I'm trying to do is build the crust up slowly and not shock in the outside. All right, it's been two minutes, folks. We're gonna restart her and we're gonna try to flip her. Ooh, look at that, it actually flipped it. Ooh, look at that. Now, don't be so excited now. We're gonna build this crust up slowly, starting off cold, all right? The idea here is sometimes, you know, you get tired of doing reverse sear, regular sear, or just throw it on a super hot grate. What we're gonna do here is build up slow. Try to get wall to wall pink without that little gray edge. I don't know, have fun. It's cooking, let's have fun, folks. Oh, that's the problem of having a pit boss under a tree. Sometimes leaves will fall down. Hmm. Hey, we're cooking outdoors, folks. Anything can land on that grill. Bugs, trees, kids' toys. Come flying through the air, land on your hot pit. <laughs> you ever had a wiffle ball melt on your Weber? I have many times. But it's all the joys of cooking in the backyard, folks. I've had drunk adults knock over my Weber kettle many times. It's all fun and games though. So somebody falls face first into a pit. Alright, we're coming up on the other two minute mark. What we want to do now is we want to turn the heat down to medium. And 
All right, we've got the heat coming down on medium. We got eight seconds to go. We'll go exactly two minutes. We're gonna restart it. We're gonna flip it again. There we go. We got a little more crust on there. Cat's starting to render out. I starting to hear a little sizzle, folks. Making sure these are on medium. Yep. One thing I wish Pit Boss had was a an exact dial for medium. Weber has little lines you could just shoot for. This one you just have to know how to use it and dial it in. We're going to shoot for about 125 internal. Ooh, I got to go back inside and get my temperature probe. I'll go back in after I flip it. I got 30 seconds to go. Coming up on the other two minute mark. Couple seconds to go. I'm gonna restart it. We're gonna flip it in the same spot. See there, now we're starting to build a nice crust. All right, while we're two minutes to go, I'll go get my probe. I got the mod as chef temp. This was sent to me free and I just absolutely love it. <laughs> nice sizzle folks coming. Then we're starting to cook on through now. I never done it this way before. I figured we'd give it a shot, see what happens. It could be ruined or it could be delicious. Okay, we're coming back up on a two minute mark. We're going to flip it and we're also going to turn this down to low. Start on high, medium, and low. I got all three burners on, so the whole thing's even. I didn't bring my temp gun out, so I don't know what this is. So. Let's take a quick internal, folks. Get that hair off there. Right now, we're locked in at about 90. Yeah. We're just gonna keep flipping it, building that crust. 
until we get up to where we want. Then maybe we'll do the side, melt that fat down a little bit. Making sure they're on low, they're on low. Building that crust a little at a time instead of shocking it with high heat right away. Hey, well, you know, it might work, might not. I don't think I know it is very hot out here, folks. For Wisconsin, it's very hot. It's close to 90 degrees. Humidity is very high. Not like Texas, though. Not Texas hot. You know, it's like keep putting it back in the same spot. So I want that fat, you know, the fat part there. All right, we're coming up on the two minute mark. Start that ore, we'll flip her again. Look at that, folks. Get a nice crust on there now, it's building nicely. All right. We may be onto something, folks. We may end up find a perfect way to cook this steak. All right, we are now at 105. Locked it in, folks. Try that with your thermal pin. All right, folks, two more minutes. We flip her. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Let's get an internal. Don't want to overshoot it. All right, we're coming up on 121, folks.
time, folks. Coming up in two minutes. Just flip it one more time. Oh, look at that. Let's see where we're at on the internal. All right, we're at 128. Let's take a couple of readings. Oops, one there. Really. That's all we're doing. We're about one side. We're going to yank it off. Maybe we'll hit the side fat real quick. Ooh, look at that, folks. Can I get that side fat a little bit? All right. We're going to shut this dribble down. We're going to let this rest for 20 minutes. Right. We'll be back in 20 minutes, folks, and slice her up. All right, guys, we have rested this bad boy long enough. It's time to check it out, see how we did. Here we on this thing. All right. Hang on while I adjust. On the fly, Scotty. Okay. Let's cut her open. See how we did. New York strip. Oh, I didn't say that. Ooh, look at that, folks. Not bad. Not bad at all. We'll cut this a little strip. Overall, I think we did pretty good. Different way of cooking a steak. Clap it in a cold pan. Cook it on high two for four minutes, two minutes each side. Hey, get back in there. All right. And we're gonna hit this with a little, little bit of kosher salt. Hey, you know what would be good on this right now? It's some smoked finishing salt. That'd be awesome. I'll leave a link to Tommy from Gallery Backyard Barbecue. He has a smoked salt finishing salt recipe but I don't <laughs> all right here we go oh man that's perfect medium rare almost wall to wall I think it is wall to wall just a touch of gray right there folks some finishing salt would be perfect <laughs> All right, folks, there you have it. The most amazing way to cook a steak differently. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Mm.